The M113 is an armored personnel carrier, APC, and more than 80,000 of them have been produced, and over 50 countries have used them in over 40 different variations. And they're actually still in use today by some countries such as the United States and Ukraine. Today, I will briefly cover the M113, the M113A1, the M113A2, and the M113A3. Development for the M113 began in 1957, and the first prototype was produced in 1956. It was originally called the T113E1, and was designed by Food Machinery Corps, or FMC. When it was adopted by the U.S. military in 1960, it was dubbed the M113. The M113 was the first mass-produced armored vehicle that used aluminum armor. The use of aluminum kept the weight down, which allowed for smaller powertrains to be used. It did still weigh around 12 tons though, but the greater rigidity of aluminum compared to steel allowed more room for passengers inside the vehicle while keeping the size down. The M113 could carry 11 passengers with just two crew members for a total of 13 people. The downside to using aluminum armor is the resistance to firepower or lack of resistance to heavy firepower. At close range, the armor could be penetrated by 50 cal. But the purpose of the M113 was not to withstand consistent heavy firepower. It was meant to carry personnel to a designated target, unload them, then retreat. It was the United States' most widely used armor vehicle during the Vietnam War, which is where the M113 first saw combat. It was also used by the U.S. military in other conflicts such as Iraq and Afghanistan. The first batch of M113s came equipped with a Chrysler 75M, which is a petrol or gas engine that delivers 209 horsepower and around 330 foot-pounds of torque. And although this doesn't sound like a lot, it was coupled to a General Motors TX200 manual gearbox, and the top speed was 37 miles per hour, or roughly 59 kilometers per hour. So the gearing was very low on it. Also, if you know more about the TX200 transmission, I am interested, so just drop some knowledge in the comments below. And if I'm not mistaken, the 75M is the industrial version of a 361B, which was used in several different Chrysler, Dodge, Plymouth vehicles. The M113 came equipped with a 50 cal M2 Browning machine gun, which sat above the commander. On March 30th, 1962, the first batch of 32 M113s arrived in Vietnam, and on June 11th, 1962, they were sent to two Army of the Republic of Vietnam, ARVN, mechanized rifle companies. Each company was equipped with 15 M113s. Unfortunately, during the Battle of at Bac in January 1963, a combo of the vehicles not being used as a quick in-and-out transport and their trouble getting through a deep canal caused 14 of the exposed 50 cal gunners aboard the M113s to be KIA'd. The M113A1 entered service in 1964. Its main difference from the first M113 was a 5.2 liter Detroit diesel 6V53N V6 diesel engine, which increased the horsepower and torque, but at the cost of increasing weight. Furthermore, this variant had an Allison automatic gearbox with four forward gears and two reverse gears. The top speed of the M113A1 was 37 miles per hour, which is the same as the M113. In 1979, the M113A2 began production. The A2 had improved engine cooling equipment and reinforced suspension. A total of 5,300 M113 and 12,700 M113A1 APCs were upgraded to the A2 standard by the U.S. military. The M113A3 was adopted by the U.S. military in 1986. It came with a more powerful General Motors 6V53T diesel engine, which was capable of putting down 275 horsepower and 627 foot-pounds of torque. Production for the M113A3 originally ended in 1992 but orders continued and manufacturing was pushed until 2007. In 2013, the U.S. government put out a contract to replace the M113 and, in 2018, BAE Systems received a low-rate contract to, to deliver up to 450 AMPVs to the U.S. Army. In 2020, BAE Systems completed production on the first armored multi-purpose vehicle. But that doesn't mean the M113 is dead. They are expected to continue in U.S. military service until 2030, which is 70 years after the U.S. military first adopted the APC. And that doesn't mean the other countries will continue to use them well past that date. 
If you want me to go over some of the variations of the M113, because there are a lot, let me know in the comments. Also, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.